naturally do not know where to start with this one. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I'm typically the happy-go-lucky, uh, funny guy. But there are certain things that I feel obligated to speak upon. And being one of millions at the center of the current state of our world, I wanted to add my two cents. Um, we, we need to do better. You know what I mean? And I, I'm not going to pretend like I know where we're going from here, but I know that where we're currently at is not what we're supposed to be doing or how we're supposed to be going about it. Um, the last few days have been very revealing in the actions of others. Others who I thought were very good friends or, you know, people I grew up with, people that I thought I knew. And they happen to be showing true colors right now. And it's a, it's a very strange time and it's a very weird time and it's a very hopeful time time in the, in the midst of all of it because people are rallying people are speaking people are making sure that their voice is heard and they're making sure that any any quality is tackled finally uh while i don't agree with looting and i don't agree with smashing windows and flipping cars or setting things on fire i do understand the frustration and, and taking it out, you know what I mean? Some people go to the gym to let frustration out. Some people play games. Some people play sports. This race, and, and you know, I know people say, like, the human race is the only race, but, like, and, and many eyes, it's not, you know what I mean? It, so the, the, the Black Lives Matter movement is taking their frustration out on the world, and... It's it's not the right way, but I do understand it, if that makes sense. Um, if, if you plan on throwing any type of bogus bullshit at me about how black people are playing victim or, you know, systematically we, we're, we're equal to everybody else, don't just just save it. I don't need you to try to feed me bullshit that, you know has been thrown in my face since I was a kid in school and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You can't tell me what I've experienced or what my friends have experienced. And what we've experienced is scary shit. Shit that people should never go through. And another thing that I keep seeing all over social media is people using Martin Luther King Jr. as like a trump card in this situation, saying that, you know... He never did this. He never did this. And, and stop. <laughs> Just stop. Because it's, it's not like he was the only civil rights leader, civil rights movement leader. There's, there's many people who contributed to where we're currently at. And the fact that you're only mentioning him is, is a spit in the rest of their faces. And I've seen a post where it's like, you know, you guys murdered him too. And I've, I've explained to a friend that when we when we say the word you, we're not saying all white people. We're, we're, we're not. We're saying the group of people who are closed-minded and who are racist and who who think this shit is okay. You, we're not. We're not. We're not throwing everything on everyone. You know what I mean? You know who you are, and you know it because you're typically the one arguing back. For example, the, the, the chant Black Lives Matter should not be greeted with a counter chant All Lives Matter. That At no point did black people say our lives matter than yours or your lives don't matter in general. What we're saying is there isn't another race whose lives are being taken and have been taken at such alarming rates and have been you know, blind eyes have been turned, things have been pushed under rugs, uh, 
And it, things have just been ignored and we're tired of it. We're not saying white lives don't matter. We're not saying Spanish lives don't matter. We're not saying Asians, Indians, whoever. We're simply stating we're tired of being the ones pushed under the rug. And it's not fair. And if you if you want to say all lives matter, you're you're missing the point. And it's been explained to you thousands of times. So at this point, I just think you're ignoring the point. But not to get off subject here, what I want to say to everyone, black, white, whoever, if you're standing for the cause, Black Lives Matter, and if you're standing for the deaths of the, the, the brothers and sisters who have been taken from this world unjustly, thank you and keep doing it. Just go about it the right way. You know what I mean? Like I said, I understand your frustrations and I understand that you're doing what you think is right, but don't let them control the narrative. Don't let them back you into a corner to the point where you're doing what they want you to do. Don't smash up buildings because this is what they're expecting of you. The, it, and I understand, I have friends who keep telling me that it's not fair that we have to always be the peaceful ones. It's not fair that every time we're peaceful or we, we, we speak out on these situations, we're told to shut up. Athletes and celebrities are told to do their jobs. We say Black Lives Matter, they say All Lives Matter. We 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 kneel, and then all of a sudden we're not American. We, it doesn't matter what we do to protest what we're protesting. We're always made to be the bad guy, and we're not playing victim. We simply want equality in the in this in the country that said we we should have it. You know what I mean? We we didn't ask to be brought here, but in that constitution it says that all men are created equally. So live up to those fucking words. And I I I don't know what to say cuz like I said it's it's very strange living in times that I thought were past us. Anytime that I'm learning something in history books, that means it's done. But here we are, and I have to think about my little cousin who's only like four, and she has to grow up in this world. And it's not fair. Life is hard for everyone. There's there's many obstacles that not everybody's going to face equally, or, you know, individuals will face different things. But at no point should racism make your life harder than it needs to be. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all bleed red. We're all on this planet for a limited amount of time and you're supposed to do something that outlasts you that the next generation can see and build off of the right way. And looting and breaking buildings and shit like that, that's not what we want history to remember. We want them to remember the fact that we we, we took a stand. We 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 made a change and we spoke up and we made sure that our voices were heard. And people took us seriously and it's not going to happen if you guys keep or not you guys just anybody if we keep fitting in the box that they keep putting us in so i'm not saying stop protesting i'm not saying back down from anything i'm saying just do it smart i'm saying do it the right way i'm saying There's an opportunity here for people to to come together over, over this. You have white people standing with you. You have Asian people standing with you. It's beautiful. People are coming together. You know what I mean? And use this. Use this to make a difference. If you haven't, you know, donate to the many foundations that are fighting for this cause i have I've, I've spoken with friends i've tried to change minds but sometimes mindsets can't be changed and that's fine that's fine bro i tried i tried to make this world a better place and when i go hopefully i've made some type of an impact do what you can for the right reasons 
You know what I mean? Stop calling people animals. Stop, stop calling them, you know, thugs. Stop, because at the end of the day, they're scared. You're scared. I'm scared. It's a very, it's a very scary thought to know that anytime I leave the house, I might not return. It, it, it frightens me that someday my family will get the call that, you know, I'm not here anymore because of something stupid like racism, because someone saw my skin and knew that if a certain story is spinned a certain way, I'm going to come out scot-free. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I, the person was black. I'm not here to defend myself. I'm not. I'm, I'm going at that point. It scares me to know that at any moment a, a, a switch can flip on somebody and anything's done. You know what I mean? And I, and I don't want to make this about me because it's not about me. It's about us. And like I said, we just need to do better. We need to do better. And it starts with us. It starts now. So if you're fighting the fight, keep fighting the fight. I've always been told that there's lights at the end of tunnels. And I'm praying that this tunnel is coming to an end soon. And we can move past this. Black lives indeed matter. And stay safe. Stay safe. Well, I, I love you all. Even if I never met you, I have no bad blood against you. I'm just hoping for the world where everybody's chill. Everything's peaceful. Every, everything's equal. And hopefully that's what we're moving towards. So, give this video a share. Hopefully... This message doesn't fall on deaf ears and people take it to heart and, you know, the right people hear this. And if not, like I said, I tried and I'm going to keep trying and I hope that you do too. Please stay safe.